The second week of Advent began on Sunday with the reading from the beginning of the Gospel of Mark. I'd like to read for you today the introduction to the Gospel of Mark from the message. Mark wastes no time in getting down to business, a single sentence introduction and not a digression to be found from beginning to end. An event has taken place that radically changes the way we look at and experience the world. And Mark cannot wait to tell us about it. There is an air of breathless excitement in nearly every sen sentence he writes. The sooner we get the message, the better off we'll be. For the message is good, incredibly good. God is here and God is on our side. The bare announcement that God exists doesn't particularly qualify as news. Most people in most countries have believed in the existence of God or gods. It may well be, in fact, that human beings in aggregate and throughout the centuries have given more attention and concern to divinity than to all their other concerns put together. Food, housing, clothing, pleasure, work, family, whatever. But that God is here right now and on our side actively seeking to help us in the way we most need help, this qualifies as news. For common as belief in God is, there is also an enormous amount of guesswork and gossip surrounding the subject, which results in runaway superstition, anxiety, and exploitation. So Mark, understandably, is in a hurry to tell us what happened in the birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus the event that reveals the truth of God to us so that we can live in reality and not illusion. Mark doesn't want us to waste a moment of these precious lives of ours, ignorant of this most practical of all matters, that God is passionate to save us. Hear now that one line introduction. The good news of Jesus Christ the message begins here, following to the letter, the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Let us pray. Gracious God, this Advent season, make us breathless with anticipation to receive the message that you are here, that you are on our side. Gather up into your arms all the concerns we have for this day, for this time, for ourselves, for our future. And teach us to trust your mercy and your love for us, even as you reveal that truth, that you are passionate to save us. In the name of Jesus, the Incarnate One. Amen.